What do you think, chat? You want to do a silver support Moira? Alright, let's get... Uh. Alright, let's read the comment. Uh, playing Mitch Cake is the name of the account. Uh, silver support Moira can't seem to climb out of silver. I was wondering what I'm doing wrong, I got over 20k healing and 44 limbs on this match, almost 15k damage as Moira, but still lost, this seems like a recurring theme. I don't have a few misplays where I positioned too aggressively through a bar door and a few times where I didn't heal as quickly as I should, but overall I think my gameplay was not bad, just looking for another perspective. So we are looking at Mitch Cake, uh, hold on, let's do now watch Mitch Cake. Up next, uh, probably forfeit Nyx for actually. It's uh, getting close to that time. All right, let's continue. So we're watching. We are looking at uh, mid cake on defense. This is fine. This is probably a very long game. Twenty minutes, yeah. All right, let's just look at that. So to begin with, uh, you. With Moira, it's you're gonna have a very difficult time healing like anyone in your team. I would recommend just staying by your Orisa, maybe near your Batiste as well, and maybe near your Sumetra. But yeah, no, don't worry about healing the monkey, don't worry about healing the Ash, because those, uh, those are just gonna be usually too far away for you. If they need healing, let them come to you, basically. One second, I got a sneeze. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna throw a damage orb out. You said you got gold damage with 50k. That makes me think you are uh, damaging way too much. Because while 20k healing is fine for a 20 minute game, you can probably be getting a lot more if so much of your. Like, Moira does not do that much damage. I have no idea how you get that much unless you go actively for very, very aggressive plays. To begin with. Just play around the cover, um, don't stand out in the open. You don't need to use your healing orb for that, like this healing orb is completely unnecessary. You should save them for when they are actually necessary, like to heal the entire team at once, or to get more healing out, but your Batiste is not going to die, just right click at them, or left click at them, I just have them swap. Like you could use it now, for example, to save your monkey. Having good numbers and good medals doesn't mean anything if you're putting all of your resources on the wrong place. I like that you're tapping. Again, this healing orb is not really necessary. Like, your Baptiste has almost full health. You can just tap right click one, once and it should be good enough. You should be healing here for sure. You are way too late on that. Don't, don't sp if you have full resources, there's basically no reason for you to do damage. Uh, here you can throw the orb. Yep, this is fine because you just kind of need to keep the monkey alive. But two, in, in like 1 minute 24 seconds, I already seen like several problems. Don't damage because you were damaging when you didn't have to and you had full resources. Uh, which this caused your reason to die and lost you the fight basically. So stop damaging. The only reason you damage is to get resources or to kill people who are like on. Uh, under 50 HP and very vulnerable but don't, don't damage if you don't have to that, That's a very aggressive like what's the idea behind that fail? Keep your defensive position. You are a healer. You are not a damage boost. You're not a tank What's the idea before uh, behind going this aggressive, right? You throw a damage orb Your monkey needs healing. Let's look at your perspective again. Stop damaging and heal your monkey you're missing with a lot of the healing as well, which is 
Something you should definitely fix. You should not be missing with the Moira healing. Here you can do a bit of damage because your resource is slow. But now if you have to heal, you kill. Like we already have our resources back, right? So look for, for healing if anyone needs it. There is no reason to throw this orb. No reason to throw this orb. Whip of Co, they use P. I'm fine with this Colossus, but again, notice how you're going very, very aggressive with this Colossus. Like, there's no one in your team in front of you for you to heal. What you're doing is basically you're playing frontline Moira. You're playing as if you were a tank and you are not a tank. You don't do damage. Uh, like, you don't do damage in the sense that you shouldn't be doing damage, but also your damage output is very low. Like, I believe Moira's is 40 per second, but I can double check. Moira. The Moira's damaging is 50 per second, yeah. It's very low. It's like very low. It's like monkey tickling you. Or even less. And notice how aggressive you go with these coalescence. Why are you going this aggressive with coalescence? You are not gonna kill anyone. They all have beat. And you could be using this to just help your team, top your team off, get in a better position. Like you could be here, all the way back here, doing it like this, getting your team between you. Like here, if you come here, for example, you can get both of your tanks on the coalescence and some of the enemy team as well. You shouldn't be going this aggressive. You are literally playing DPS Moira right now. Like most of your, like for your orbs, I think you've seen like one or two good orbs then a few damage orbs that you shouldn't have thrown, and a few healing orbs that were ba uh, basically really poorly missed time. Because you really want to use them as a burst of healing, not just, oh, something may happen, or someone is missing 100 health, I'm gonna throw it. Like this one is fine, for example, you throw a healing orb to kill these and this, uh, your tanks, so this one's fine, you're playing in the open a lot again. So yeah, right now, one position. Uh, two heal and three orbs. This is what I'm thinking right now. Also, you are missing a lot with your uh, healing. The healing orb here, I think, was meant to save this metro, but it's not gonna. And thus becomes kind of useless. I know you need resources, but your monkey is dying. Like, use what you have on the monkey instead of going for aggressive. You are not gonna kill the mercy. You do 50 damage per second. It will take you 4 seconds to kill the mercy and that's if you can't hold it for the entire time. What's the idea behind this? Instead of just healing your monkey, you're playing DPS Moira. Which doesn't surprise me considering you said you had uh, 50k damage in 20 minutes. This means you are doing mostly damage rather than healing. With Moira, your healing should triple, easily, your damage out. And thus far, what I've seen is basically, your coalescence was only for your enemies, and you went even more aggressive when they beat, so you got literally no value. Your orbs are basically just, you're using them for no reason, whenever you want to. You've thrown healing orbs, uh, basically as soon as you could, as soon as anyone took any damage, which is not the idea. If you can, and you're close enough, just heal them normally. Uh, unless someone is going to die to a uh, 20k 15k damage not 50 15 did i write 50 15k damage 15k in 20 minutes which is a lot even for moira if you do 20k healing and 15k damage In 20 minutes, there's clearly something wrong. Uh, this is way too much damage for Moira. You're basically just playing aggressively and too aggressively. Killing her for the to kill the Risa faster is fine. Also, you will have it back before the next fight, which is good. 
You, by the way, see what I mean when I say you're playing frontline Moira? Every time I stop to look, you're playing in front of your tanks and trying to get damage even though you, you don't need your resources. What's the idea here? You are not gonna kill Lucio by yourself. And you, oh my god, if they don't punish you for this, you fade out, you, you use the healing orb because you basically lost 100 health, you should let your Batista, like, this is unnecessary, just look for your Batista and be like, hey, Batista, where are you? Can I get some healing, please? Batista even gives you the healing, you don't even have to ask. So, I've seen a lot of that, just using your orb when someone is missing 100 HP. What rank is this? This is silver, actually. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I didn't change the icon. You fade out of the thing. A little early again, you can... Uh, I said it at the beginning, but I forgot to change. Yeah, I forgot to change the rank. Uh, don't fade too early out of the flux. You can stay close to your monkey, heal your monkey, then get out. But yeah, thus far, I, I can already tell you those few things. I was so scared that this is Masters. <laughs> uh, if this were Masters, the entire game would be Masters, sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but yeah, you're making a lot of mistakes. Like, this Coalescence even is a little bit of a question mark. Like, Again, look at your team. Your team is entirely behind you. You're getting no healing out of this Coalescence. You're doing a little damage to the enemy, but even then, only the DPS, the enemy DPS are in line of sight. And look at how aggressive you go. You are basically forced to get out, and you are not healing your team most of the time because of it. I'll be honest, 10k healing per minute? Uh, sorry, not taken. Sorry, 1. 10k per minute would be a lot. Uh, 1, uh, what you usually go is 10k per 10, right? It's not enough anymore. Because of how much damage there is in the game, you should usually be getting 15k per 10. Considering the... Uh, if you have a roof above you that is closed, uh, I see fine using for healing orb. It's fine if you need a healing orb, it's definitely fine, but you usually should not be using the healing orb only for yourself unless the fight's already over. Like, what's this healing orb? What's it gonna get? Maybe it's gonna get the Symmetra, but it doesn't get you, it doesn't help her at all. And basically here you're be kept, being kept alive by the Batiste. Your healing orbs that far have been... Oh, someone is missing 100 HP. I throw my healing orb. Healing them primary fire? No, I'm not, I don't do that. Fine with this healing orb though, like trying to keep your tanks up. Heal your tank, stop damaging, like, hold on. Look at your resource meter here. Full, full, full. Not quite full, but 80, 90%? Why are you not healing your tanks who need healing? They survive, but they could definitely have died there. And they are still taking a ton of damage. And he has to go in low because he didn't focus him at the beginning so it, took, it takes longer to full HP him. Now you're on the enemy backline and doing damage? Moira is basically, I stand with my tanks, I heal my tanks. That's what Moira does. But instead you're playing like so aggressively for no reason, like, what's the damage drop? Your tanks need healing! Your tanks need healing, please. The reason you get 15k damage is you are doing this. And it's not good for you to get 15k damage, because if you keep your tanks alive, your tanks can both do more damage, right? Like, Monkey does 60 damage per second, which is only 10 higher than your 50, but he gets cleave, he gets multiple targets. So he can actually... Monkey is one of the lowest damage heroes in the game, and he can outdo your damage by a factor of 2 very easily. The reason you're getting 15k damage is that you're basically going for... Uh, meaningless damage to the enemy tanks, for example. Yeah, maybe you do 500 damage on this fight. Maybe between the damage orb and the tickling, you do 200 here, 300 here, but this damage is meaningless. Doing uh, 500 damage in 6 seconds is nothing. 
For example, McCree's DPS is 140. He shoots 70 times 2 because his uh, recovery is uh, almost uh, half a second. So McCree has 140 without headshots. He can do 280 if he hits headshots in one second. Um, same with Ash, right? Ash can take uh, basically three shots every two seconds. A little more than that, it's actually like, I believe it's more like six shots every 3.5 seconds, something like that. Don't worry about it. But every shot from Ash does 75 damage. Uh, 150 if she's headshot, right? So in six seconds, Ash can do about uh, 75 times 6, so 150, 300 damage, right? Is that a lot? Uh, no, but this is uh, one shot, not per second. So how many shots can she, did she do in one second? Let's say two for the sake of instrument. She can do... Actually, let's go back to McCree. Ash is a little more difficult because her recovery time is 0.65, so she's a little slower. So let's go back to McCree, who can do... 140 damage per second times 6. This is 600, 840 damage in 6 seconds. That is without using right click, without using any cooldowns, just shooting. Whereas you have to use your orb, if you do 200 damage, then you did 300 damage in 6 seconds, and you got 500 by using both of your cooldowns. You are literally throwing, I'll be honest. This healing orb is okay, we don't even need to focus the Sigma, Reaper can just kill him for us. We have full resources, we should be healing. The a grab, which is actually pretty big. If you, oh, uh, if you call in response to grab, that's fine. But also notice how you're very focused on doing damage to the enemy team. And you have people you could be healing. You are literally only focused on doing damage. And Moira is one of the, like, even this is a damage orb. Look at your monkey. Heal your monkey. You have half health. He's got 10 HP. Heal your monkey. Why is this a damage orb? Oh my god, you killed the mercy. Yay, the fight is lost. You are letting your tanks die every fight. Stop doing that. I'll point, I'll point things out. You are letting your tanks die every... You are letting your tanks die every fight. You are in very bad... You're playing very bad positions as well. You're not playing with cover. You're not playing behind shields. You're playing basically in the open most of the time. So you're dying a lot yourself. And you always go for the enemy team. So you are not enabling your DPS at all. You should be, for example, killing your Reaper when he's very low. He ended up having to go get a Mega. If you just... Well, that's just 140 damage, uh, no, sorry, not damage, healing per second, and it only does 70 damage per second. So you get twice as much value from Coalescence if you use it on your team. And you can get this as a bonus, right? If your team is playing here and you Coalescence through them and the enemy team is coming forward, you guarantee that your team gets healing, and then maybe you do a little extra damage on top as a result of Coalescence going through targets. But right now, you are kind of hard throwing. Healing Orb, that's fine. That's a decent healing Orb. Nothing you could do about that, honestly. Way too late on the reaction for that. And you're missing a lot of healing as well. You healing Orb because you're low, so I'm okay with this. Then you kill the monkey. Monkey's dead. This is a lost fight. Just down point. Just down point. Just, just down point. It's lost. Just down point. You die on point, if you touch it, you prevent it from going for, further forward. So just go die on point, Mora it's very annoying to kill. So I'm really just like, go die on the point. You are. It's better for you to die on the point than for you to, well, die later away from the point or just get out. Both are bad. Like, even if you get out here, you could have just as well have died, regroup with your team. What's the idea behind this? You're gonna go for the Jangrat kill, you're probably not gonna get it. You're gonna get it! He's not a great Jangrat. Okay, you got a kill, congratulations. Uh, your team should... If you had died on the payload, your team would be 
First, you will be with your team, right? Secondly, the payload will be further back, and thirdly, you will be contesting with your team. You are just going so aggressive here. And for no reason. Also, you walk into the Jungrat mines, so don't do that. that. You're basically throwing the game. You kill the Lucio. That's decent, but again, you're not doing any healing. And you still refuse to do any healing. What's this coalescence meant to achieve? You are looking to kill people with this. You are not gonna heal your team. And coalescence does 140 healing per second. I believe this is one of the highest uh, healing values you can get. Like transcendence, that's double that. Transcendence, transcendence does 300 healing per second. But other than that, like very specific things, like for example, uh, Baptiste shooting through his window or uh, naded someone. You're just going very aggressive with this, and it's not even the right kind of aggressive. Like, you are trying to focus tanks, you should just get the squishies if you are going aggressive with your Colossus. Heal your tanks, stop doing damage, heal your tanks. Like, what's that meant to do? Are you gonna heal? Like, again, coming back to random orbs, he's missing 50 health, and he's got lifesteal. What's the idea behind this healing orb? Monkey, our monkey just jumped into it, which is good, but heal behind you, please. You're basically playing Moira, Moira like a DPS, like you're basically playing Moira like Soldier. That's that's what I'm thinking. You are going for aggressive flanks. You're losing your all to try to get value from an off angle, ignoring your team, and whenever you can, you just throw a little healing your team's way. Heal your monkey. Random orb again. Now we don't have it for the fight. And this is one of the few times where I would have been like, yeah, you can throw a damage orb out here instead to try to get a little more extra ult charge. You heal, you heal, you find, you get out, he died, he overextended, you would die without. Heal, heal, heal. We should survive this. Just heal your tanks, heal your. Why are you still holding the damage button? Playing in the open, right? Playing in the open. Even even if their shield was not there, you should still be playing behind the payload. But at your rank, what I'm telling you is playing behind the shield at the very least. Ideal position, behind the payload, right? Just here. If the team pushes me, I just crouch to a little bit behind you. But you are throwing by not healing your team. That's the biggest thing. Like Heal. Please. 20k healing may sound like a lot, but in a 20 minute game is actually very low. Especially for Moira. Moira does a lot of healing. Actually, let's do a fun activity. Let's calculate how much healing can Moira actually do in a 20 minute game. So, of course, you get... Hold on. 70 healing per second. Uh, there we go. 70 healing per second. Plus uh, 30 more after 2 seconds. So a total of 100, right? Per Basically per time you use the thing. Uh, at the total we need to take 30 out of the entire total. Just because you will not get the thing 2 seconds at the end of the game. Uh, plus 300 healing, because again, uh, hold on. the orb does 300 healing but 200 damage. So every time you use the damage orb, you're losing 100 value. Every 10 seconds, right? So this brings our total to about, we said 100 per second, 10 seconds is 1,000, 1,300 every 10 seconds, right? Uh, times 6 for a minute, that would be 7800 in one minute, this is your 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 cap, your highest cap, right? 
And then let's say that on top of that, every minute you get one coalescence, which is 140 per second, last 10 seconds, I believe. I can double check that, but I believe it actually only lasts 8, but I can. 8 seconds. So 100. Oh, I went way too big with that. 140 times 8 seconds is 800. And. 32, 11, 20, healing out of coalescence, which is, we had calculated about 1300 per second, but you also get 300 here from the orb, you get the orbs on, on top of coalescence, so it's actually 1420, and then you get 2 seconds of healing at 100, so it's 1620, every 10 seconds, which is a difference of 320. So let's keep this in mind, right? So we have 7800 per minute plus 320 times 10 because, uh, times 20 because 20 minutes. So this is our, our highest output. Our highest healing output. Let's do the math here. Uh, so this is pretty simple. This becomes 640, 6400. This becomes uh, 14, 16, so 14, 15, 15. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm completely lost. Let's just let's just forget about it. <laughs> about it, it's somewhere in the range of that, right? Like, if you can do 7,800 per minute, and you do 20 minutes, uh, I'm doing the math. I just bring up the goddamn calculator. Hold on. A hundred, I was like, it, it's only 15,000? No, it's actually 156,000. Plus whatever we said, 6,420, so... 162,400 healing. It's your maximum healing output. In 20 minutes. You did... Not even a... A tenth of that. You did a tenth of that. Which I don't expect you to do the maximum. But it's not like you're doing a lot, and Moira can definitely do a lot of healing. Like, I would expect you to get 30,000k in 20 minutes. No, no, you are again just using Coalescence to try to kill people, even though your team is all dead. Like, everyone your team is dead. Only the Orisa is respawning. So, please, stop. This is throwing. This is actually throwing. You are throwing. Stop throwing. Random healing orb. No one is even missing health at this point. I, I, I'm honestly, I don't know what to say. This is weird. Damage orb, I believe the damage orb through the Baptist windows gets double damage. So I'm fine with you throwing that one. You heal your monkey for once. Did you know by the way that Moria is actually really good against Farah? Because the AoE healing actually cancels most of Farah's damage. I'm fine with you doing a little bit of damage here because you do need your healing resource. But don't worry about healing Bob. Another orb that is not getting anyone. Does anyone need healing? Yeah, your Ash actually needs healing, your monkey actually needs healing. But this orb is getting people who don't need healing. So it's, again, it's basically like, someone's missing 50 HP, I better use my orb to get to them. Again, that healing orb wasn't gonna get anything, like... There is no one in your team behind them. And it even got eaten. I'm actually okay with that one. It's probably gonna bounce and it could have kept the Ash alive. I went to the left. You didn't die somehow. 
I'm okay with these call essence, but again, it's not because sorry, uh, it's not because you're getting the enemy sigma or the enemy area. It's because you actually have both of your tanks in the coalescence for once. Like Orisa in coalescence, Monkey just went off, but he also was in the coalescence when you used it. You kind of ignore the Pharah as well. You are focusing so hard on killing the Sigma. You even throw it. Why? Why is this a damage short? What's the idea? You think you'll just get the Asaria? Just throw a healing orb so your monkey stays alive and he can kill the Asaria as well. Yeah, monkey even kills the Asaria himself. I'm fine with you doing the little damage on the cleanup, it's basically one anyway. But holy crap. Please heal more and be a lot less aggressive. You're basically throwing most fights because your tanks are dying very early. Most fights because you are on a flank or doing damage or not healing them or missing the heal. Also, you are getting no value out of your coalescence because instead of getting 100, what is it, 140 times 8 plus 70 times 8, right? For 8 seconds, you are only getting this. And you are also hitting it on less people because this is actually 140 times 8 times 6, 140 uh, 70 times 8 times 6. So you could really be getting a lot more value out of your coalescence as well. That's, see, that damage orb is fine. The fight is not happening yet. You get a little old charge, you do a little damage, it's fine. This orb is fine. Your team is not gonna engage yet, so this is fine. Keep play behind the payload, this is again still fine. You can throw a healing orb here to kill your monkey, but you should also just focus on the healing. Yeah. This is decent. Heal, heal, tap the healing, throw a healing orb. I'm not sure you needed that healing orb, but I'm gonna say it's fine as well. If you really wanted to heal your monkey, maybe. Now you should be healing instead of doing damage because, yeah. So I'm like, okay, you throw the healing orb right here to try to heal the monkey. It's the first time to review my bot. I'm new to comp, so I made a lot of mistakes. Don't worry. Like I said, this is about learning. Uh, the biggest thing, I know I sound really um, upset. I'm not, and I'm not blaming you for it. I'm just trying to be blunt so you can learn. At this point, I, damage is not really that good. You should be healing here. You should be healing your team. Your monkey dies. Again, you were not healing your monkey. You were just trying to damage the vine. So, if you want uh, the too long don't read thus far, is that you are just not healing enough. I know your resources are low here and you cannot actually heal as much as you would like to. You can go a little aggressive when you have to. You could have killed the McCree a little bit, but he probably would still be not the Ash, actually, not the McCree. But probably she would, she would have still died, so that one's not your fault. Another healing orb that no one really needs. This has been a theme, by the way. Uh, okay, so I will repeat the things I said earlier. You should be healing more. And DPSing a lot less because your DPS is actually one of the lowest in the game. Um, your positioning is not great. Like actually on, on this attack you've been playing pretty good positioning. Near the payload and right now you're playing with this. But throughout the map you've been playing a lot in open areas. Where you just get shot a lot and die. Or, or flanks right. You go on the weird flank instead of being with your team. So those are positioning. Uh, so again one is... Heal, uh, two is positioning, and the third one is actually your orbs. You are getting very, very little value out of the orbs, especially because I appreciate that sometimes you are still throwing a healing orb for your team, but you're basically using your healing orb when your team is missing like 20 HP. You should save your healing orbs to be a burst of healing when your team is low. Like right now, for example, right? 
now the healing orb is actually too far away. Uh, the Orisa is taking damage, so now would be a great time to use the healing orb on the Orisa and heal her on top of that. You try you. Also, this is also about positioning. Don't frontline as much. Frontlining just gets you killed. You should always be playing behind your tanks. You are going very aggressive here. Uh, you should you should absolutely die here. Like the, you should not survive this. Like with the entire enemy team here and your team all the way back here. Yeah, you should not survive this. You're also gonna get shattered, which definitely makes you not survive this. This healing guard is fine again. A burst of healing is good. The monkey goes away from it, but that's not your fault. No, go kill the monkey. Like monkey slow, you heal the monkey. Can we use coalescence very aggressively? I will repeat this because I don't think you are here. But coalescence has 140 healing and 70 damage. You are getting a third of the value by using it only on the enemies, whereas you could be getting it. Here. For a second there, this is good because our, our, both of our tanks are in front of us. The damage orb is fine because, again, this is one of the exceptions. If you have this window and you get double damage, you can throw it at the enemy to try to get a pay. You have full resources, you should be focusing on the healing, right? Your monkey dies. You could have saved him, like, he died right as he was dropping the bubble. So just a little bit more healing would have saved them. Heal, heal. I've noticed your reactions when healing are pretty slow as well. Like you wait until people are very low and then start healing. You should be basically predicting when they're going to take damage. So you can be like, oh, Marisa is in the middle of the Kamis, of the Torjun Kamis and taking shots. I'm going to keep healing her so she doesn't go that low to begin with. Again, like another orb that gets no value. Look at your team health. Your team's health over here, and you are frontlining again. His turning point of using call for damage is it worth popping to save someone who is slow? Uh, there is a point of using call for damage. If you see, for example, someone who is very far away from your team and can't get any peeling, you can be like, "I'm gonna use call and kill them." But that hero has to be like a 200 HP hero. Like, for example, a Mercy in the middle of the air, right? But I would definitely say you should be using it for uh, saving it. Someone who's slow is really good. Again, 140 healing per second is... Uh, healing per second is really high. You can really top people off. Especially when you can throw the orb and then go into Coalescence. So you can do like 340 healing in the first second. But yeah, here I wanted to point out, you're basically frontlining again. Don't be in front of your tanks. You usually want to put your tanks between you and the enemy. Like, you want to be behind your tanks, with your tanks in the middle and the enemy on the other side. This healing orb is okay, because there are people who are taking damage, but you could be getting this just with your uh, left click. Like, there is no reason for you to, well, use that orb. It's not value less, but you could be getting a lot more value if you save it for when people are low. Because it's actually a really good burst of healing for people are low. Especially your tax. Heal your Orisa, just top her off, you get pinned, that's a death. Unlucky. But yeah, basically, to answer the question, is there a point in using call for damage? Yes, the damage is actually okay. But the ideal thing with you do is use both. Like, you usually want to be, again, with your team behind you. I call it, let's mark this with an M. You are Moira. Uh, this is your team. This is the enemy team. What you do is use your coalescence from here. You go through your team and through the enemy team with coalescence. So you're getting both the healing on your team. 440 healing per second per teammate. Because, again, it's an AoE. And you also get over here... 70 damage per second per enemy to like a lot of value overall the more people you can get the better you can do and right now you are focusing on the 70 damage per second 
per, per enemy which is decent but you're basically letting go of 140 healing per second per teammate also keep in mind teammates are usually a lot easier to hit than enemies so because they will not be dodging your coalescence so you're basically uh, foregoing about two-thirds of the value of coalescence by not using it mostly to heal and a little bit for the damage Killing the monkey with an arc here is fine. Skill, heal, heal, this is fine. I appreciate that you're tapping. Because you didn't need to just hold to full heal, but it's a decent tech, it's not the most important tech, but it, it can save you a little bit of resource. I'm okay again with this damage or because you are throwing it early. It got uh, deflected, but not a big deal also. Let's go back to my usual uh color of pen there we go healing here is fine your monkey's by himself don't worry a lot about him like you threw an orb to try to save your monkey but he's probably dead yep i'm not against you using the orb there to try to save the monkey though like the idea is decent just someone is too far away for you to heal so you throw the orb at them careful the rhine has shatter oh he is using shatter when the rhine goes for something like this it becomes pretty obvious that he's about to shatter Let's see if your reaction time here is good enough to fade before he shatters. It's not. You can definitely do it, by the way, if you just press the um, the fade button before he shatters. You can definitely get away from the shatter. But killing of here is okay. I think you basically just panicked and threw it out. Can your team doesn't really need it, but it's fine if you panic. And I'm actually okay with this call as it's like. It's not the best, you are still not getting healing on your team, but at the same time, because you are getting power boosted, uh, confirming a kill, if you can confirm a kill, it's usually worth it. And in this case, you can probably confirm the run here. Yeah. So that call is actually pretty good. You heal here, yep, you heal your Orisa, heal your Orisa. Keep healing, don't worry about tapping. Like, in the middle of the fight, don't worry about tapping, just heal so people are full. Tapping is really good for, well, between fights, right? Or before the fight happens. But you actually do more healing if you just heal directly. Uh, actually, I was going to look at the color of this healing orb and I forgot. So you look at the Genji and you go, do I heal my team or do I try to damage the Genji? You heal your team. This is actually okay. I think it's the right call because he doesn't have like nano or anything that can kill people immediately. And he just dies, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's actually that's actually pretty decent. That was overall a pretty decent fight. You could have saved your Orisa if you hold if you had held healing on her rather than tap healing on her. Fade away. You don't need to fade away, it's fine. You fade away. You kill people, you throw a healing orb. Again, I'm okay with this one, but he's too far away, probably. He dies anyway. And I don't love that you are basically playing away from your team again, right? I, I keep coming back to this, but if your team is playing here, you go aggressive a lot by yourself, and it both ends up with you dying and your tanks dying because they don't have their main healer. So this is not a great position. Remember, your damage is 50 damage per second. It's very low. Here, use your orb to try to heal yourself. Here is again one of the times where I would be like, I'm fine with the healing orb, but no one in your team really needs it a lot. Like, only Torb is low, and I don't even know Torb is behind you. He's not gonna get value from that. But the enemy team is so low that using the damage orb can probably win you the fight here. They should still die, no problem, though. Yeah. Genji behind you, Genji behind you. Yeah. I'm, again, I'm fine with you doing damage when the fight is over and won. I'm again okay with you throwing damage orbs before the fight happens to get your ult faster. Healing the junk, this is okay. Heal the monkey, heal the monkey, he's about to take a lot of damage. 
you got a little close for comfort there. Like, so you don't want to be that close. You want to be behind your team, right? Not on top of your team. Like, if these are your tanks, you don't want to be on top of them. You want to be just a, a little bit behind. In range for your heal, but not so close that the enemy can target you instead of them. No point in holding left click here. Just heal your monkey. People are dying. We get shattered. We lose the fight. Don't call lessons here. Lost fight, we don't coalescence. You did throw the orb and then coalescence, but this is basically a lost fight. Like, even if you do manage to kill the Rhine, which you may, the fight is definitely lost. You don't even kill the Rhine. Uh, heal your Orisa there, she was slow. But you see what I mean? That you are definitely not getting as much value as you could be getting. They waste beat, so that's good for us, that's actually great for us. Don't worry about the monkey, the monkey is just kinda going in by himself. You can throw a healing orb if you want to. This is not ideal. Like again, you don't do enough damage to make that valuable. Like even the Rhine probably doesn't have to worry about your damage. Even though he was pretty low there. That's fine, you are keeping people alive. You can fade above this, by the way, you don't have to... Uh, yeah, you don't have to fade around it, you can just fade across it. Fade makes you immune to basically all damage when you do that. I'm okay with this healing orb. I don't think you threw it for the monkey, but again, the monkey jumped at the orb, so that's fine. I'm okay with you trying to do a little damage here, because again, if you need your resource, Damage is fine. If you don't need your resource, you don't want to do damage. Because you're putting yourself in a very dangerous position for this. And the damage of here is also pretty not great. Uh, your team is probably... You're, if you're gonna need it in the next 10 seconds for your team, you probably should not use a damage orb. And again, Coalescence here is fine. If you can't confirm a kill, I'm fine with using Coalescence. And in this case, you could confirm the Reinhardt, so I'm fine with it. Remember, it's AoE, so you should ignore the Mercy, get these people. Like, your monk is going in, you could be killing the Mercy, uh, the Mercy, killing the monkey, doing damage to the Torjon, doing damage to the Orisa. So, getting three targets instead of one target, and getting double value on the monkey, because it's 140 healing versus... Um, 70 damage. Also, that damage orb wasn't great. You can kill the Mercy though. Yeah, you clean up on the Mercy, which is fine. Kill your team, kill your team, kill your team. This is good, this is fine. We should be able to cap here. Our Drunker doesn't, is not coming to point. Again, do you, this is a, a, a trend I've noticed. So I, I've pointed out a few things already, but this is the biggest thing. You are using your orbs when they're getting very little value, instead of saving them for when they could be getting value. This should be a one fight for us. We just, yeah, we just heal as much as we can. We throw a healing orb. We keep healing the team. Killing the mercy is fine here. Like, again, if you see that someone is, like, 30 HP, you can't focus them because you've got a beam. I have troll mash in the resource a lot, and I find that I run out a lot. How do you play in the back and still get damage to replenish the resource? Is it okay to go frontline to do damage for the resource they fade away? No. Fade is actually your lifeline. You don't want to be on the frontline. Ideally, what, what will happen is... Uh, so this is your Rhine, right? Okay, let's put it a little bit forward. I'm using Rhine as an example because it's easier to uh, picture things with Rhine. So this is their Rhine. What you usually want to do is when you you play a little behind your Rhine, when your Rhine goes aggro and the enemy in the Rhine lowers the shield to go aggro, you can do damage and get a little bit of resource there. Then you can heal your team. Then again, when any, anyone in the enemy team is uh, basically not vulnerable, but poking or doing damage or up in front of the shield, you can do damage to them then focus on healing your team. But there is also one more thing that will help you. Uh, do you play on PC by chance? Because this is actually a PC 
not only a PC trick, but it works better on PC. So I, I do have to ask if you are playing on PC. Like, I'm okay with this. Going Gargoyle to kill the Rhine is fine. The fight was, again, if the fight is won, you can do damage. Don't neglect the healing. Like, if your tank is very low, even though the fight is won, you should be healing them. It's not only more heal for, health for them, but also more healing that's more gets you more all charge than damage it does. Not only because it's like, again, 100 healing per second, but compared to 50 damage, so twice, but healing gets you all your own PS4. Okay. So instead of, I was gonna show you a little something a little bit in a moment, but I, I'll show you the uh, console equivalent, which is not as good, but still pretty good. Oh. Again, this damage orb is okay, not ideal because the team fight is probably gonna happen in less than 10 seconds. Actually, it's very slow, so you know what, you get it back. So here you're gonna use coalescence, you're gonna use throw an orb, use coalescence, you fade it back even. This one is going for a shatter, so be careful. You you really want to fade back as far back as you can. No, this is too short. I find I don't play aggressively enough when I'm left with no heal resource and just feel useless in the back. I, I will show you a little trick that you can use to heal to recover your resource faster, but really you are focusing on damage a lot. I was explaining this earlier. But 20k is not enough healing for Moira. You don't want to do 10k healing per 10 every more. Because now um, Overwatch has a lot of damage. So with Moira you should be looking to get 15k healing per 10. And doing uh, basically 15k damage in 20 is a lot of damage. You, this already tells me you're going extremely aggressive. And if you go back to the beginning of the ball especially. Uh, on defense a couple times you were just flanking by yourself and using coalescence by yourself and um, just doing everything by yourself whereas Mora is a very team focused character she wants to keep the tanks alive mostly this is a great coalescence though, I, I will say that again, you have three of your teammates in the way you have one, two, three, four of the enemy basically in the way so this is a good coalescence, just stay back here and you even get uh, damage boosted so this is a good coalescence, just stay behind your team though. Because again, well, I've noticed that when you use coalescence, you're going very aggressively and only focus on the damage. But coalescence is actually a really good, again, 140 healing per second, which is double the 70 damage per second. So you really should be, no, I'm not saying focus on the healing, but you should be using the healing as well. You can do both at once. And again, you go in front of your tank, you get shattered for it. Uh, this looks like a loss, at least a loss fight. But yeah, basically the way you could be getting a lot more value is first, stop using your healing orbs for no reason, wait until the right time. Secondly, heal more, a lot more, stop doing so much damage. And thirdly, worry a little bit more about your positioning. Like, even here, even though you have a shield in front of you, it's not great. But a lot of the time you're playing even outside of the shield and in front of your tanks, which is, again, not great. You should not be on the front line. Like, ever. You don't want to be on the front line. You go aggressive on the Genji, just get pinned. This is actually a winnable fight, wow. Getting pinned there, let's just call it unlucky. Killing orb here is fine for long range healing in case your enemy... In case your team needs it, hitting the Pharah is good. Do you guys win this? Fade away. Fade away. Fade away. Okay, you faded a little too late, but it's fine. Healing here is fine. Again, if you have this, you don't have to risk your life to go get a little bit more resource. Because remember, poking at the front line is basically risking your life. They have a lot of damage coming through the front line. They can really kill you very easily. Like here you just, you could have died even there. Like just to keep in mind, Sigma does 110 damage. Torjon I believe does uh, 80 damage, but the headshot is 160. Ryan does 85 damage per swing. 
So there is a lot of damage nowadays if you just wait for it. Again, I like this coalescence. Healing the monkey is good. Killing your tanks is good. Notice how you're both. This is really good. Notice how you're focusing on healing your tanks, but because it's an area of effect, anything that is behind your tanks is still taking damage. So that's how you use coalescence. You just try to focus on healing, but do it on an angle where uh, it's not like you're just hitting the wall behind your tank. The coalescence is basically doing this. It's hitting your tank, but also going through and getting the enemies behind your tank. The ideal uh, thing to do is focus on the healing, because it does more, a lot more healing than damage. But also play on an angle where even if you focus on the healing, it may still do a lot of damage to the people behind. Like full resource, heal, like this is a really good example. Your resources are full, why are you not healing? You can't tell me that you're playing aggressive because you don't have a resource. You let your Orisa die, and this happens a lot. This happens a lot through the game, where you just go aggressive, and your tanks die for it. Because you're no longer healing them. Oh, it's basically a lost game. Okay, so with that out of the way, let me get to the training range really quick. So that I can show you what I meant. Uh, this is going to be pretty simple. And should be pretty fast, let me just get Moira. Waste all of my healing. So, here's the little advice I can give you. If you tap on the damage button, it will actually regen your resource a lot faster than just holding it. Because you get the most resources back when you, when you first connect with your beam. And then you get a little bit. You can see how it's actually a lot slower. It does more damage if you hold it like this, it does a little bit more damage. But if the goal is to get your resource back, tapping the damage button will actually get you resources a lot faster than just holding it. Just tapping it, you can see that just tapping it gets you a lot of resources back, a lot faster. And it does do a lot less damage as well, like... I almost managed to kill the other bot with the whole, with the whole resource bar. But... Um... It gets your resource back a lot faster than just not. And on PC, you can use the scroll wheel to go even faster, but since you don't play on PC, you don't, you shouldn't worry about that one. But if you, if I use the scroll wheel, you can see that it will actually go a lot faster because it's just getting that start a lot faster. And you can see it's it's only about 70, 80 damage, but it, it is a lot of faster to get the resource back. Let's call it there. I'll post the whole photo review later when I'm done with the entire stream. I'll post the link on an edit on you know the, the thing where you can see it. But yeah, that, that's probably it. Let's take a short break and then I'll do for the thing. So yeah, uh, let's take a three-minute break, something like that. Bring it back. 